exposed a body on Merchant Bridge. If I'm going to stop them, then I need to investigate the crime scene for clues. the mutilated body Cash was talking about. I'm going to try and establish a cause of death. Blood tests reveal the cause of death was an overdose of painkillers leading to cardiac arrest. Also, the victim's fingerprints have been burned off with acid. A rather unsavory demise. That's not all. It's as though the subject's DNA has been corrupted somehow. There's insufficient information for me to cross-reference the database. I'll have to use the deep tissue scanner to analyze the body for distinguishing features and determine the victim's identity. Right you are, sir. Deformity on the left ear. Looks like a result of minor ear agenesis, a birth defect. The victim had a hip replacement. Scar tissue hasn't fully healed, so it must have been recent. The inscription reads, Ophelia. Alfred, the victim's name is Anthony Lund. Hospital records show he suffered with alcoholism, most probably brought on by the breakdown of his marriage. The name on the ring, Ophelia, his ex-wife. He was last seen in Albuquerque, New Mexico. What's unusual is that they didn't go missing in Gotham. They were brought here and killed. Why? We need to track down whoever did this. Might I suggest keeping an ear out for any more of that ghastly opera music? It sounds ominously like a calling card.
everyone in the city. We should make this a regular thing. Joker's Funland was still open. chooses to dress like a bat unless you got a few screws loose.
Identity confirmed. Do I come in the Batcave, start messing with all your stuff? You've managed to reduce the compound to its core elements. But there's nothing in there that we can trace. What if we'd been looking at this the wrong way? Instead of searching for the toxin, what if we focus on the manufacturing process? Why didn't I see this? The reaction emits a unique radiation spike. Run a scan of the city for this energy signature. If you're toxin. It'll take a few hours to bring the satellites into position. We don't have enough time. I'll repurpose the antenna at the movie studios. Bruce, I spoke to Dad. I hate lying to him. He'd kill me if he knew I was still in the city. He still blamed himself for this. We'll stop, Scarecrow. Jim, we've got a way to find out where Crane's working from. Thank God. What can I do? Get your men ready. Soon as we've got a location, I'll let you know. All right. No way I'm joining with Scarecrow. I like working for Two-Face. Half the time, anyway. 